we are going to learn how to do constant acceleration problems. Now when the acceleration is constant, that means the value of a does not change. Another way to think about it, when the acceleration is constant, the velocity is changing by the same amount every second. So per second, the change in velocity is the same. There are four equations of constant acceleration. All of these equations indicate that there's acceleration happening. When you accelerate, you change your velocity. You might start at some initial velocity vi and end at a final velocity vf. And look, you see vi vf, vi vf, vi vf. There's only a vi here, but there's acceleration, so the a indicates acceleration. What about this equation? Well, that equation does not apply to constant acceleration. There's only one velocity. And they have not said initial or final. So this is the equation to use when we have constant velocity, not acceleration. Or if you have an average velocity. When there's only one velocity and it's not initial or final, that's when we can use this equation. So let's say this is our problem. This is number two from your homework. There are five quantities that are going to appear in these problems. The initial velocity, the final velocity, the acceleration, the displacement, and the time. Let's read the question and see which ones we've been provided. With an average acceleration of 0 0.860 meters per second squared, how long will it take a cyclist to bring a bicycle with an initial speed of 9.12 meters per second to a complete stop? So what's this value? Well, the unit is meters per second squared, so that must be the acceleration. And they gave me the direction, it's positive. Okay, so the person is accelerating to the right, but she's coming to a complete stop. What does that mean if she's stopping at the end? Oh yeah, her final velocity is zero. Her initial speed is 9.12, and I don't know the direction right now, do I? Because they haven't told me left or right, east or west. I know that this is positive, but I don't know if this one is positive or negative. That'll become clear to us in a bit. What have they asked me to find? How long it takes, this amount. How long it takes, that's like how many seconds it takes. Oh, they're asking me for the time. So I find the equation with these four things, acceleration, final velocity, initial velocity, and time. Which one? It's this first equation, has all four. Except the last one, time, that is our unknown quantity. So that is still a question. What is the time? We write the equation as it appears, and then we plug in the values that we're given. We're not going to plug in for t, that's our unknown. The final velocity is zero, the initial velocity is 9.12, and again, I don't know yet if it's positive or negative. I can't think that through just yet. Well, I could, but I'm, I'm struggling. And then the acceleration is 0.86. I subtract 9.12 from both sides. It goes away, and I have 0.86 times t. But wait a second. When I divide both sides by 0.86, I get negative. 10.6 seconds as the time. Time can't be negative. So what's going on here? This has to be a negative initial velocity. If the person is traveling to the left, but accelerating the other way to the right, that's what causes her to come to a stop to slow down. So to slow down, she has to have acceleration and velocity in opposite directions. So this has to be opposite in sign to the acceleration. Okay, so now I know I need to go back and fix my original work because I uh, this should have been a negative. In reality, I should have been adding 9.12. So my time comes out positive. We can now move on to the second part. What's the biker's displacement during this time? Displacement is delta x. I don't need to list my givens again. They're already above. So what do we do? We find an equation with delta x and then three of these things. We have four, but we only need three givens. So there will be a couple options. I'll use this equation. 
delta oops delta x equals one half vi plus vf times time. I can plug in the values. Vi is negative 9.12, Vf is 0, and the time is, I'm going to use the unrounded time, 10.604. I'm looking back to my calculator. When I solve for delta x, what do I get? Negative 48.4 meters. Notice that I'm putting my answers into three sig figs, here and also here. Why? All of the givens had three sig figs. This has three, this has three, and so then I have to put my answer to the same number of sig figs.